Welcome to Hockey Wiz Talks Podcast. Today I'll be talking about what is wrong with the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Columbus Blue Jackets came into the 2020-2021 season as a borderline playoff team, but due to injuries and slow starts by key players, the Blue Jackets haven't lived up to expectations. What are the issues with the Columbus Blue Jackets? 1. Injuries to key players. 2. Lack of a true number one center. 3. Defensive struggles. And 4. John Tortorella. How can the Columbus Blue Jackets fix these issues? And now a word from our sponsor. Visit my Facebook page at HockeyWiz777 and my Instagram at HockeyWiz777. One of the reasons for the Columbus Blue Jackets struggles are injuries to key players. Zach Wierenski, Elvis Merzlikens, and Gustav Nyquist have all missed significant time due to injuries. The Blue Jackets should improve once they get all three of these players back in the lineup. The Blue Jackets really lack a true number one center after trading away Pierre-Luc Dubois, so they should try to pursue a trade for a number one center. The player the Blue Jackets should target is Philip Deneau of the Montreal Canadiens. Deneau is a UFA at the end of the season, so it would be smart for them to get something in return for him. Columbus Blue Jackets acquire Philip Deneau and Victor Mite from the Montreal Canadiens for Boone Jenner, Alexander Texier, and a second round pick in 2023. The Blue Jackets get a first line center in Philip Deneau and a third Third pair defenseman and Victor Mite for Boone Jenner, Alexander Texier, and a second round pick. The Columbus Blue Jackets also have struggled mightily defensively despite being known as a defensive oriented team. Columbus has given up 70 goals against the season, which is the third worst in the league. Only Vancouver and Ottawa have given up more goals against. David Savard is 30 and has a UFA at the end of the season, so it would be wise to try to get something for him. Columbus Blue Jackets trade David Savard and Max Stomi to the Nashville Predators for Dante Fabro, Ely Tolvanen, Colton Sissons, and a first round pick in 2021. The Blue Jackets add a young defenseman in Dante Fabro, a young prospect in Ely Tolvanen, and a first round pick in exchange for David Savard and Max Domi. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywisttalkshockey.blogspot.com. Also visit my scouting blog at hockeywis77scouting.com. Perhaps the biggest issue with the Blue Jackets is that John Tortorella's coaching style is outdated. Tortorella has never been a player's coach, and his hard-nosed coaching style has become tiresome to his players. He has caused many players to leave Columbus due to his no-nonsense fiery coaching antics and is one of the reasons why players aren't interested in signing with Columbus in free agency or remaining with the team. If the Blue Jackets want to be contenders in the long run, they might need to cut ties with John Tortorella. Listen to my other podcasts on soundcloud.com backslash hockeywiz777. If the Columbus Blue Jackets can make these changes, they set themselves up to be in better position down the road. This is how their lineup looks like. The first line is Patrick Laine, Jack Roslevic, and Cam Atkinson. The second line is Nick Foligno, Philip Deneau, and Oliver Borkstrand. Third line is Ely Tolvanen, Colton Sinsons, and Kevin Stenland. The fourth line is Eric Robinson, Riley Nash, and Emil Benstrom. The first D pair is Zach Wierenski and Seth Jones. The second D pair is Vladislav Gabrikov and Dante Fabro. The third D pair is Victor Mite and Andrew Peek. Goalies are Jonas Corposalo and Matisse Kevlinix. On IR, Gustav Nyquist, Elvis Merzlikens, and Michael Del Zotto. The Columbus Blue Jackets have now entered a transition phase, but it should be better for them in the long run.